Are you looking to come to Flagstaff, but you're not sure who's open and what to do? Well, today I'm going to take you on a little walking tour of downtown Flagstaff. This is Jackie Tate with Team 323, Realty One Group Mountain Desert. Join me as we walk through downtown Flagstaff and talk about who is open and what you can do. First things first, let's talk safety. In Flagstaff, masks are required when you're out and about. They also are encouraging you to stay six feet apart and limit your parties to six or fewer if you're going to be out dining. That being said, obviously you're going to want to clean up after yourself, use hand sanitizer, all that fun stuff. But just know that masks are required in Flagstaff, so most of the businesses, as we go on this walking tour, you will see a lot of their signs. Most of the businesses are requiring it in order to have access. Now, as I take you on this walking tour, just know that I am showing you the signs of the businesses that are currently open. So if you see those on the video, know that they are available for you to visit. And if you click below, we do have a link to where you can find what businesses are open, if there's any limitations on hours or anything like that, and also what type of services they're offering. Some of our businesses are open, but only offering takeout or to go. And a lot of our businesses, though, are starting to reopen as of the first week of September 2020. And you can dine inside, outside, all sorts of good stuff. So definitely check it out. And for a full list, click the link below. You can see that part, portions of the streets in downtown are closed off and they've brought in tables. So that makes this a really fun kind of street festival atmosphere. Keeps you safe. It's able to keep you socially distanced, but also able to serve more people than just a few if you were able to go inside. So kind of fun. Fun little uh, thing, but definitely bring an umbrella because we are at the end of our monsoon season, so you just never know if you're going to get rained on. Our bus lines are running, so if you are looking for transportation information, those links are also going to be below as well. Now, during this walking tour, we're in downtown Flagstaff saying staying north of the tracks, but... There's an entire section of our downtown that is south of the tracks that we're not looking at today, but but the information for what businesses are open and what their hours of operation are is also going to be uh, linked to below as well. A lot of the businesses do have limited hours right now, but if you're coming up for the weekend, most of the things are going to be open and able to explore. Now, these are the Old Town Shops, and then right across the street from the Old Town Shops, across the street on Birch, is Olive the Best, and I can't wait for you to come in here, and you get to experience a short little portion of a tasting with me with Scott, one of the owners. Mostly I use this for stir-fry, but I started using salad, and I thought, oh, this would be good on fish, so this is good on fish too, but I would go on grilled salmon. Really? Nice. I definitely purchased some of the delicious oils and vinegars that I tasted. I highly recommend you do too. So leaving there, right next door, you have Hops on Birch and then Vino Loco. And then I want to take you around the corner. There is this new juice bar that's just opened up. And I am ashamed to tell you I have yet to be in there to try it. However, it's definitely on my list of places that I need to go to sooner rather than later. And I would highly recommend that you stop into. And if you forget your face mask, make sure that the first stop is over at Hoot Mart. They do have face masks available where you can purchase in case you forgot yours or left it at home. And of course, you can pick up lots of other goodies while you're there. Unfortunately, right now, a lot of small businesses and locally owned places have gone under. And that is a very sad reality of this COVID crisis that we're experiencing. However, I am glad to show you that we do have some new businesses coming to town. And this was one I thought looked really interesting, Butcher and Barrel. So keep an eye out for that. 
Also, one of the things we're going to pass here is Will McNabb Jewelry Store. I just wanted to point that out because it actually moved from their location across the street. So if you're used to where they used to be, they have actually moved, but literally right across the street. Which actually brings up a good point. A lot of the small businesses in Flagstaff are ducking and weaving the best they can. So if you show up and find that the business you thought was going to be there is no longer there, make sure you look them up online, give them a phone call, and find out if maybe they've just moved locations. So now we're going to head into one of my all-time favorite stores in Flagstaff, the Flagstaff General Store, and I'm very excited for you to meet the owner. This is an awesome store if you're visiting Flagstaff and want to pick up a couple of locally sourced mementos. We're here with Heidi from Flagstaff General Store and on our little walking tour today and talking to business owners that are still open. Heidi, how is it going for you? We're hanging in there, so that's good. We'd like to see more of our locals come down um, and we're really grateful for everybody who has been coming down. We've had a lot of visitors from the valley, which is awesome. And so things are going okay. Awesome. And what are your hours of operation? We are normal hours, open every day at 10. Uh, Monday through Thursday, we're open till 7 p.m., 10 to 7. Friday and Saturday, 10 to 8 p.m., and then Sunday, 10 to 5. And so tell me about something new that you guys are carrying for fall that people may want to come and check out and get their hands on. Oh my gosh, we have tons of cool stuff. But um, I love our new um, Southwestern bags that are made by um, a retired couple who live in Havasu, and they're just really cute the couple's really nice we love being able to support people like that like this whole store I would say those bags are pretty fun they're cute she also makes like water bottle holders so when you go hiking and stuff oh cool. yeah they're really cute and um, our new Flagstaff candles love that yeah you just said you like sold out of 50 Flagstaff candles in like no Two time weeks, flat. Yeah. <laughs> I love it um, definitely you guys got have got to come down and check out the general store um, Okay, so if I were visiting Flagstaff from the Valley or California or something like that, what's the one thing that I would need to buy from your store as a memento for Flagstaff? I actually have the perfect thing. I should find it. Um, they're handmade locally, pine tree ornaments. So easy to transport. It evokes Flagstaff like nothing else. It's a pine tree and it's engraved and it says Flagstaff. And on the back, you can maybe even write the year that you came and you could pull it out and put it on your tree or you could have it out all the time and it smells good. Now, Alpine Pizza Delivery, they actually are open right now, even though on uh, some of the latest things that you might see, it says it's closed until further notice. They've recently reopened. So that was another reason I wanted to do this video. Unfortunately, McMillan Bar and Grill is still closed, but Collins is open, as is Karma Sushi. And if you continue down Route 66, you'll find that Pato Thai is open. And you can still grab a cup of coffee at Fire Creek Coffee Company, so that's a good thing. So now we're going to head into the Gateway Plaza area, and you can see most of the businesses in this Gateway Plaza are open in one form or another. Some of them have limited services, some of them have limited hours, but all of them are definitely open. And while we're walking around here, I do want to let you know, speaking of limited services and things that are open, Recently in Flagstaff, we've had a lot of great things open up. Uh, some of our gyms are now reopened, and most excitingly, Harkins Movie Theater has opened as well. So if you're going to be in town, you still can catch a movie. Just know that they are using super strict precautions to make sure everybody stays safe, and I think that's a fantastic thing. So you can still go see a movie now, but feel comfortable and confident in all of their cleaning procedures and things like that. So if you want to check out a movie, that's another link that we'll list below. And obviously we're walking through downtown right now, but don't forget that our hiking trails are open. And so bring your mountain bike or your hiking shoes because there are so many ways to explore our outdoor areas. And of course, if you're coming to town and looking to maybe rent a bike or something that can get you enjoying the outdoors. You can check out Cosmic Cycles, Flagstaff Bicycle Revolution, or Absolute Bikes, all of which are in the downtown area. Okay, all that being said, I had to go back and give Jack a little pet and scratch behind the ear. Aloha, Hawaiian. The best Hawaiian spot. Awesome. Probably one of the best lunch spots and late night spots 
in all of Flagstaff. And what's your favorite thing to eat? Oh, the chicken katsu. Nice. The chicken katsu is really good. This is a uh, chicken bowl. It's chicken and rice. Vegetables. Nice. Are you guys locals? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And what are your names? Marshall. Marshall? Caitlin. Caitlin. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. As well. So while you're here, don't forget to pick up some souvenirs, dine out, and enjoy our street festival atmosphere, and just enjoy everything Flagstaff has to offer. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Again, I am Jackie Tate with Team 323, Realty One Group Mountain Desert, and I'm so happy you were able to join me on this walking tour of Flagstaff.